minute is equal to volume in minutes. I'm sorry, volume in ml's over time in minutes multiplied by drops per ml. That's the equation I'd like you to use. Now your book has it over 60, but actually they actually have you put the time in as a, in an hour and then divide it by 60. I think if you go ahead and convert all of your pieces to plug in to the proper units and then plug it into the problem, it'll be a little easier for you. Okay. Now, drops per ml. What is a drop per ml? Okay, drops per ml is a drip rate or a drop rate. You'll see it written both ways. If you have a drop set of 10, a 10 drop set, that means 10 drops are going to be in 1 ml. If you have a 20 drop set, it'll be 20 drops per ml. If you have a mini drip set, what is that going to be? Or a micro 60. drop set? 60. 60 drops per ml. Little tiny bitty drops. Drop, uh, 60 drops per ml is going to be a mini drip. You'll see it written mini drip or mini drop. All right. Now all of these problems are going to have some components. You may be uh, solving for time. You may be solving for drops per minute. You may be solving for the drop rate set. Something you need to keep in mind is on all of these uh, flow rate problems, your mLs over time and your amount of drug over time, you use regular rounding rules. For drops per minute, since we cannot break up a drop, you round down. So if you have 67.98 drops per ml or drops per minute, you're going to round that back down to 67 drops per uh, minute. Now, your book doesn't do that, but in the hospital, that's what you will do. Because you'll skew your amount of drug that the patient's going to get if you don't. Okay, now I'll stop here and we'll pick up here on Wednesday.